Hello guys, in this video I'm going to go over best practices for exporting your polygon meshes into the IGES format and then importing into a program like Plasticity. So we're going to look at some best practices and what's the best way to get the cleanest mesh possible. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description. It's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mechs. It's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So we've got this free add-on called Export IGES. Link is in the description. So essentially, once you've enabled that, you simply select your mesh. You go into File, Export, Export IGES. So in this video, take a look at like, um, you know, should we have end cons or triangles or should we have support loops or use creases or what's the best way to get the best results. So first what I'm going to do is just fast forward as I just model some basic mesh. So why would you want to do this? Well, if you take advantage of the ease of modeling a lot of, you know, more complex freeform shapes with polygons, then you can go into plasticity, for example, and do a lot of what plasticity is good for a very fine panel line, details, fillets, and things like that. Things that are very difficult to do with polygons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and model some random detail and then we'll take a look at different variations of it. All right, guys, so now that I've got this result, um, we're now, I'm now gonna go experiment with two different ways of sharpening this up. First, using creases, and the second, using, using support loops. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Shift D. Oh, let's see. Yeah, okay, and then we'll press Z. All right, so, uh, for this one, let's go ahead and use the creases. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select select sharp edges. All right, I'm not too concerned about making it accurate, so we're going to go here into mean crease and sharpen this up. So we're going to get uh, okay, maybe not that sharp. All right, let's go with this, for example. So we're sharpening out. So I'll press Control-3 to have three levels of subdivision. All right, so here we're using creases, not support loops. For this one, I'll go ahead and use support loops to sharpen that up. So I'll go ahead and insert loops through here. All right, so this one is gonna be more complex. It's gonna use support loops. All right, shift D. All right, so actually let's start with the simplest one at the bottom, right? So this is just the one with creases. Then we got support loops. All right, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'll shift D once more. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add some triangles here. We're gonna see how triangles uh, can affect our result so let's have um let's have triangles triangles with the support loops and then triangles with with this one as well triangles with using creases all right so i'm going to go ahead and select these vertices press uh, j to connect them and uh, this right here
All right, so we've got some triangles right here. We're going to see how that, that affects. And then, so triangles with creases and triangles with support loops as well. So what if we have triangles here? How is that going to affect things? So triangles, creases, triangles, support loops, all right. And this one here is going to have some end gons. So I'm going to select this right here. I'm going to press uh, Control X on that. All right, so we got we got an end gon right here. We got a bad end gon there. We got an end gon right here. And uh, end gon right there. Actually, maybe not right there. All right. So flat area, but we do have an end gone there. So we're going to see how that affects things as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select all these and I'm going to go ahead and file export export IGES. For the settings here, I'm going to do selected only. Uh, we'll do refinement level two, Z up. We're going to click on apply modifiers and export IGES. Alright guys, I'll see you in Plasticity with all of these imported. I also added one more result right here. End guns with, uh, with creases. Alright, so first two results. Creases versus support loops. Alright, so at the bottom, creases and support loops. So first thing I have to say is that when you're using support loops, you have to be careful of situations like this. So this may give you trouble when you're trying to fill it and cut things apart. So looking in Blender, you can see when you use creases, you tend to kind of a, a crease that up. But when you use support loops, you have the situation where you're trying to maintain sharpness coming across here, but then, um, I, yeah, so kind of sharpness right here, but smoothness going across here, uh, but sharpness right here. So you're gonna get the situation right there, and that's gonna give you a bad result. So uh, maybe have another loop right here, and that can kind of maybe fix up that situation. All right, so something to be aware of, that's going to be an issue with the further ones up there using support loops. So just be aware when you have loops too close together, you may come up with funny situations. All right, so situations like that. So when you're using support loops, we tend to get um, simpler results overall. You can see this is simpler. However, we have areas where it's kind of clumped up, uh, which could make it more difficult to fill it or do some sort of detailing. So kind of be aware of those bunched up areas whereas with creases we get this kind of it is more complex but it is even all around there's no like strange areas so all, all, all around I would have to say that if it weren't for these uh, strange areas um, that support loops give us support loops would be the clear winner but because we have those strange areas here, I think it's better to go with creases uh, if you can do that. It's not horrible to use support loops, but I just think that creases will give you a better result. And of course, keep in mind that uh, Moai gives a much superior result. Uh, the Moai importer, you can just uh, import or export OBJ files in Moai, and it gives a very good uh, conversion. But if you're going to use the free Blender add-on, uh, you should use creases right here. All right. Next, we'll take a look at Triangles, support loops, triangles, creases. All right, once again, it looks like support loops give us some problems here. A lot of density right here, but we don't really need it. Whereas triangles, even on creases, you know, same result as the bottom one, just different orientation of the, of the edges here. All right, and lastly, we have end gons with support loops and gons with creases all right so once again a very similar result i would even say it's a better result than here is because it's a little bit simpler here on these parts so end gons are not a problem we get a very good result whereas end gons with support loops 
that gives us a lot of complexity here. So, if I were to just show you real quick. So let's say I wanted to create like a quick resort here. All right, something like that. Just gonna use that to cut real quick. And then I will um, also move that right there. Alright, so you can see I've got the piece uh, from both of these. I'm going to move it close together. Alright, so if I try and select this and uh, fillet it, you can see it handles like a very, very small fillet. And after that, I don't think it's going to work because of the strangers we have, we have happening right here. So if we zoom in on this, you can see uh, what kind of strangers we have going on here. So it's going to have a hard time trying to, trying to fill out this. All right, so with this result, it's going to give us a, a large fill with no problem. All right, so I would have to say overall, if you're going to use the free Blender add-on, uh, it is best to stick with creases as opposed to support loops. And even if you have uh, end guns and triangles, you'll still get a good result. You can still go in here and give a, cut this apart, smooth panel lines, and uh, nice fillets as well. And you can see plasticity will, um, these lines, uh, they can disrupt some things, but plasticity is pretty strong about uh, eating them up. So if you select this, for example, uh, if you fillet this, you can see plasticity will easily move past those lines and continue to grow the fillet. So uh, they're not going to be too much of a problem. So this way you can use uh, Blender polygons. And you know, even if you don't use Blender, you can still get Blender for free and get the free add-on. So that can be like a little a pipeline for you so if you use Modo or, or Max or Maya or anything else you can still use the Blender add-on if you don't want to get a Moai and so now you'll be able to get those certain smooth shapes very quickly with polygons and then go in here with plasticity and get those nice panel lines and further details nice boolean operations thank you for watching and take care